Have you ever seen a steel blade cut backwards? Well, we try it, and we take a closer look at Diablo's Steel Demon with Sermit and Carbide. That and more when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson, and you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. So in years past, if you wanted to cut metal, you were either going to the bandsaw or you were getting an abrasive blade to make your cuts. Now, abrasive blades are great, still use them in the shop. However, they create a lot of heat, they create a lot of sparks, uh, so there's a lot of safety problems involved with that as well, and they like to come apart. So, enter the steel world where you're taking now typical saw blades, or what they look like typical blades, and able to cut steel, give you a cold cut, uh, give you less snags on the cut after it's done with, so easier to kind of process and clean up after the cut. Uh, and the fact that it's a lot of times faster. No heat involved, there's no sparks flying around, maybe a few sparks, uh, but the shavings look more look like uh, tooling marks coming off a lathe when you see a, a shaft being turned or something like that. So this is the Diablo Steel Demon and it has their cermet and carbide teeth on it. So it's able to cut even stainless steel, which we didn't try it on any stainless, uh, but these blades, most of the time, people are putting these on the small circular saws. This is the seven and a quarter inch. They make this all the way up to a 14 inch wheel uh, for your big cutoff saws as well. I like it in this little miter saw, especially this little battery powered miter saw. I can pretty much take this anywhere around the shop. I can take it outside the shop if I need to. I'm mostly cutting up angle iron, uh, aluminum tubing, one inch square steel tubing, two inch square steel tubing, uh, even two by three steel tubing. But this does it all for me, or most of it if you will, and does it really quickly. I can quickly go to 45 or 30 degrees, 22 and a half, whatever I need to cut. Make those transitions quickly, so I really like it on this miter saw. Now people ask, well, what can I actually put it on? Well, one of the most important things is when you look on a blade is look at the max RPM. So the thing you don't want to do is to put this on a saw that's going to say turn 10,000 RPMs or something that usually uh, uses an abrasive wheel. Those are geared or actually set up a lot different. This is a 5,800 RPM blade, so it, it's good for up to 5,800 RPM, so your typical handheld circular saws. And this miter saw only turns about, I think, 3,800. So it works quite well. It's not spinning faster uh, than the blade was meant to be. Now, what happens is if you are overspinning these, these teeth are kind of, they're basically welded on. There's an actual heat treatment process where these teeth are adhered or welded to this blade. And if you start overspinning it, these teeth will come flying off and next thing you know, you have shrapnel. So we use this, as you can see here, from everything from you know, thin aluminum where it cut right through to thin square tubing to a little thicker square tubing and even on some quarter inch plate. Now the interesting thing is, obviously on the thinner stuff, there wasn't a lot of heat transition, but on something like quarter inch plate that's about three inches wide, cutting through that a lot of times, like I said, if you're using an abrasive blade, you're going to generate a lot of heat. Well, on this, I think we went from like a 95 degree base metal, uh, 95 to 100 degrees was kind of what the base temperature was. After the cut was 125, 130, maybe 135. I could still hold it. It was a little warm on the piece coming off, but actually the base metal was a lot cooler because it was able to you know, dissipate a lot of that heat where the small piece that was left over obviously was retaining a lot of that heat. So it was 125, 130 degrees, but you could see I could still hold it in my hand and not get burnt from it. Also, the clean edge on these after the cut is pretty amazing. So you don't have any jagged pieces of metal co coming off of it. Sometimes you might have a little bit of retainage here, uh, but a quick cleanup with a, with a little, uh, you know, little sandpaper, um, little sanding disc, will clean that up really quickly so you're ready to weld or paint or whatever you need to do. So Home Depot reached out to us and said, hey, try these blades, these Steel Demon blades from Diablo. We hear they're pretty good. And I said, I know they're good, I already use them. So this has got several hundred cuts on it. Like I said, I use it in the shop all the time uh, with my seven and a quarter inch miter saw. Uh, I've also used it in a circular saw, works great. Um, check it out, $29.97. I think I've seen them at like $31. So around 30 bucks from Home Depot. Uh, it'll be worth the money, I'm telling you. It's gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna be a safer cut, a colder cut. So if you don't mind, if you'll hit that like and subscribe button and hit the little bell button if you want to be notified of future videos. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day.